17-year-old Joe Hattery's health was not always music to his or his doctor's ears. At the beginning of summer, I was around 300. I was always pretty self-conscious, especially starting in middle school, and I was never very athletic, ever. Joe was more interested in video games. Not a lot of playing outside, which explains a lot. It's truly an epidemic. Obesity rates have tripled in teens and quadrupled in kids during the last four decades. One bit of good news, though. Obesity among two to five-year-olds dropped between 2004 and 2012. Still, 17% of kids are considered overweight and another 17% are considered obese. The obesity affects every organ system in your body, so starting head to toe, so you can have more migraine headaches, vision changes, obstructive sleep apnea, asthma has been associated with obesity. You can also have issues with your liver, so you can have what we call fatty liver disease that can progress to cirrhosis. You can have type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular complications, high blood pressure, it can affect the ovaries in female patients, so you can have what we call polycystic ovarian syndrome, uh, bone disease, arthritis. Uh, truly, it's, uh, it's really a systemic disease. My dad was on business in Portland, and he was eating at a restaurant with some clients, and all of a sudden he didn't feel right. So he said, okay, I gotta go to the hospital, something's up. In Joe's case, his wake-up call was his father having a heart attack. My dad had to do a complete reversal of his lifestyle, and of course we were supportive of that. He lost 30 pounds with the protein-sparing diet, which consists of lean protein and vegetables. Now he is doing what's called a 1,500-calorie partial liquid diet. This is my typical lunch, like right now. Protein shake, cheese wheel, pretzel, roughly 100 calories, and an apple. We try to tailor the diet to the patient and their family and we give them a few options. For some of the younger kids, we just give uh, some lifestyle modifications. Being healthy is good for the whole family, so if you have two or three children and only one of them is struggling with being overweight or being obese, uh, I would say making these lifestyle changes, avoiding sugary drinks, being active as a family, not going out to eat fast food, I think these are good changes for the whole family. Feeling good about myself and just feeling better in general. Like, uh, I used to get migraines all the time, and I still get them every once in a while, but not nearly as much. Feeling better, getting healthier, taking a bite out of life. For Fox 8, I'm Dr. Mark. Dr. Mark is sponsored by the Cleveland Clinic.